tension on that line. Okay. Now, if you can take and lay your coils like here. Remember, tail down. There you go. And sometimes, like if I have a shorter rope, the reason I don't do it with my Rietta is that you know, if I would have a shorter rope, I'd probably just throw it all out there, you know. But I don't feel like coiling it all back up if I lay it like that. <laughs> but, um, okay, so now you're going to go in here and you can step over your rope. Keep tension there. Okay, now, now get that leg. Or actually, you can go ahead and do that flip, get that half a dowie. On, on, go back over there. No, no, you, you can do it from there, or you can just do like I showed you. There, keep, keep put a hand there. Okay. Okay. And now just take and go like that, and flip that one half turn off. There you go. Just a little. No, 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 no. Other way. Just, just like this. Watch this face. Okay. Like that. Okay. That's all you need to do. Okay. There you go. Now come back down to the animal. Okay. Get that top leg. Go, go back Top. down here. We're gonna we're gonna do this first real yeah. quick. And hold, as I'm holding yep. on. Yep. You're gonna keep tension. There you go. Grab that leg. Get him back. Okay. All right. Now you can let keep this where you can work with it, but you can you're just gonna set ropes like normal here, okay. real quick. So you grab this. Get yourself some flag. Okay, gotcha. That's like them. Yeah. Just like normal. There you go. Oh, keep hold, keep hold. There you go. All right. Stay over there. Now, even though your horse is out of position, don't worry about it. So get it above that dew cloth. Now don't worry about that because you have that rope. Okay. So just keep hold of it. You can stand up. Keep tension on that. Okay, now, now you can reach back over here, grab your horse, and lead her over. Nope. Lead nope. your horse over. Get your feet down. I got it. I got it. There you go. Now, okay, step forward, Anthony. That's step why forward. we ride big yep. horses. Bring your horse up. <laughs> legs as high as you can with the one hand. There you go. And pull that tension out. There you go. Okay. Now keep this tension and finish taking a full dolly. You want some of this? All right. Now come under that just like I showed you. There you go. Pull it back towards. There you go. Perfect. So now you come back here. Maybe sure I want to like maybe organize that a little maybe bit. Maybe just set it over here where that's going to be some place you can get to it without... See, you have a ton of slack, so if you had to grab it, you would have to pull a bunch of slack. There you go. Now you just go to setting ropes there. You've got this close where you can get a hold of it if you needed to. And it depends. You know, a lot of times I might just keep that full dally. Uh -huh. and, and come and set that first. Who knows? Yeah. It just depends. But generally, you do set the backs first. But, but like if I got the bottom foot? Yeah, he had the bottom leg, like you said. Like, yeah. like if I got the bottom foot, then he can't really get underneath him. I, it's almost like having two feet. I'll come under here. And then back to the horn. And go back to my horn. And half, hitch it a couple times. But then you're really tied on, though. But they can't turn around and run. Okay, because you're so they're, short. They're they're locked on. They're I mean I've had a horse flip up and try and sunfish with it, and he still got up and he's still attached to it. He's screwed there. See, I've done that before on pisshead. Instead of that, though, what I like to do you is back there? no, I'll uh. I have done the candle thing before, but no, I like to, I like to just do like I did. Yeah. But to keep them faced up, I'll just take my hobbles and buckle around their neck. Yeah. Around the rope, like, like how them boys from Nebraska. Uh -huh. I'll just take that hobble. But then, if 
you do pop your turn, yeah, it's gonna zip around and take a while, but it'll come all the way out. But, dang. Okay. Uh. So if she's so, getting out of yeah, place, just help just her out, yeah. straighten her out. There you go. Now, a lot of times, people, you, you, it pisses me off. You see pictures all the time. People want to take pictures of their horses holding shit. And they're strung goes, way out there? And they'll have their horse out here on 20 <laughs> feet of rope. And it's like, that's just a lot of shit for your horse. Like, Dude. your horse has no support out there. Like, if your horse gets into, you're right here. Yeah. You can help her out and pet her a little bit. Yeah. Your medicine's right here. You know, you don't have to go right, way right, the hell right. out there. And your horse wants to come with you. If you're right. way out there and you walk up, half the time your horse wants to walk up. Sure. And then that's why you're, you're, right then you're going to lose your tension on your little deal. And then they're doing that shit where they're taking the tail end of their rope and slapping their horse in the head with it yeah. to get them to back up. Okay, so from here, just go ahead and... And like this, this animal's got no feet on the ground. Yeah. If it goes to struggling, it if... can't do shit. It's on its back. It yeah, there's no chance of it getting that's up. That's why I like I like roping with him. Like when we get something down, he sucks them feet way up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I hate Yeah, like I want to pull him up to get that. Yeah, you know? because I hate when I'm like, hey, get short, get short. And then they're out there fifteen feet. I'm like, no, get short. Let's make this as easy as possible for everybody. Because mm -hmm. you want your horse to be successful. You want everything being successful. The only time I mean the only time it's you don't want to be this short is, let's say I'm branding, yeah, this is going to be, right. you know, yeah. sometimes then, usually yeah. I'll come in that short and then I'll back up and move I'll, over till I'll I get, around and, yeah. you know, let that guy be able to get that iron on, but at the same time, after he gets that iron on, I'm going to set back, mm -hmm. especially if we're roping big critters, if we're on little calves, it's, yeah. it's a completely different deal. See, and I'm crippled, so I can't get on the saddle like that, so I just... <laughs> and there's a lot of things that I do that you shouldn't do if you're on a piss head or <laughs> Oh, come on. Time and place for everything. Depends on, like this, this Ready? is the farmer mount. <laughs>